goes item build wise because we've seen seen a bit of a shift away from the norm right no now it's the yule days are long gone we're seeing much more of these groups of travel bkb going like shivas daedalus it's like that uh you, you were talking about somnus going for the falcon blade we've seen other Step players by soul now. ring Your to keep that mana regen board. going keep our oh, that they're forcing. Well, hang on a second. It's GPK getting found out by Yi again. Disposed back into the Winter Wire, but God up comes oh, in no, with a shadow wave, him. but Ooh. he doesn't save the Lina, and he's put himself in harm's way. Now, back behind the tier one and will be all right. The GPK dying Radiant's twice in this laning stage. I was going to ask if outsiders feel comfortable with this, the way the tri lane is working, but mid lane not going well for them. This is something that PSG LTD does extremely well, checking the four minute runes and also ganking both of the supports. We're there ready to take a fight. Dakota, PP. Oh, this is gonna be another one. It's a level two dazzle. Well, yeah, LTD aren't laying bomb anymore. Tri lanes, we've got roaming tiny, jungling lone druid. Yamich misses his shards in the mid lane. You can see GPK very skittish. Play defensively under his tower, not happy with the way that these LGD heroes are rotating into his mid lane all the time. And every single time lane is pushed, Ame will come back to the lane, farm it up while two supports holding hands together for PSG LGD and trying to make something happen. Well, the CS, of course, Lena is up at the top still, so even with a couple of deaths, out farming the Winter Wyvern just through that, that raw natural hero power. Kunker, 31 and 15, stacking up the denies on Ramses. Phase boots done. Expect that that armor and maybe the Radiant BKB to come on afterwards. It's the first. A bit of tankiness. Potential. He sends the tornado towards the doom. Defensively mid. I'm gonna just initiate it off by Yi and nothing to say. Can he get off a grave? No. They've never leveled up yet. Away, doesn't keep him safe, and now a snowball back towards the neutral creeps. Yamich still being hunted down by LGD. A double kill for the Winter Wyvern as they snap into action. All of a sudden, LGD flick the switch and say, Right, hey, we're ready to play here. Bunko will catch in Q bottom, though. A boat crashing on him, and the tide bring a slap down. What you can do. Try to suppose, but didn't have the backup quite fast yet. Beyond. Aiming towards Ramses again. This Kunk is meant to be a tanky hero, but look at how quickly he moves speed on him. He can't move, and he just loses like 800 HP in a blink of an eye. Good grave TP though should get him back to Fountain. The Spirit Vessel in the final touch. He's They're bottom tower behind him. Under attack. Look, he, he, he's playing super aggressively. Now they make a move on mid. That's the thing. They saw the leader right, so they know there's no one bottom. They can go into Ramses. And here he unleashes, snowball there towards nothing to say. Still trying to catch up to this Kunker with a solar bind. TP out from Yamich. Always oh, cursed, caught out, and Ramses pummeled down by White. Little tough Dyer's dead as well. LGD starting to run away with this. Like you were saying, the, the low levels on the supports. Is, is that now a failure considering the tri lane and the lane moving around from outside? Oh, they're baiting with the rune. Why? What a play. He saw, that. he saw Doom coming because they do have an Observer Ward. Uh, he knows something was cooking. Radiant on and transitioned that into Roche. And now on to DM. GQ and nothing to say. He play from the trees. He tries the wall stop as well as Blade. He's still dying to this Winter's Curse and Arctic Burn. I say on a mega kill streak. All along. So not close enough to use the Shallow Grave. That was a uh, shift. Shadow Wave. So he. Gets it immediately off. Why? Can he get the rebound off? Ooh, not quite. Good chase stuns from outsiders. They're on the map. Yeah, it feels very inefficient. A lot of gold wasted and expended. It's Savage Roar, beautiful execution. Catch the Kunker, kill him off. Hakuda again, just out of place, can't get the grave. And that's Roche. 40 seconds without Kunka. You know that he doesn't have a BKB. Without him, uh, when I mean to say BKB, doesn't have buyback. Without him, they really can't contest this. And they also don't have the heroes like a Clockwork that could potentially go in, steal Aegis. This is getting really rough for outsiders. Yeah, it's at that point in the game where, you know, we see from LGD, any, any pairing of hero, the Wyvern, Tiny, or the Lone Druid, Marcy, these heroes can make plays on the map together, find a kill, make a push happen, whereas it, it really feels like outsiders need every single hero there. They need a five-man... Cartel. Four staff, can you do it? Let's see. 
one for a hit for the disposed. Still with the Laguna Blade, GPK blows up the console, but Yamage is rolled straight into the middle of them. Gives them a freebie. That's his blank dagger. He got last hit, 500 gold, holding that Philosopher's Stone. He still does make his swift escape back up to high ground, but Yi is having nothing of that. He places a sentry for the, the flash of vision. Druid back up to Barracks. DM tries to get in with an Good Inferno Blade and a toss back into the middle. Forced to be KB Warstop, but bashed up, stunned, and killed off. No buyback on Doom. And Lena trying to hold her ground here. Blows up Yi's Marcy. Forced to be KB herself. Completely to Jin Q with that Chrysalis and the right click attack damage coming out of Lena, but that Winter's Curse, the reset button. LGD got. They're all lined up for it. They spotted Savage Roared and they've got the curse on Lena. Down to half HP immediately. The bear just rips apart the tusk. Oh man, this is not a, a bar fight brawl that you can battle in. And Ziamet or the outsiders. Arme gets a double kill. And Hakoda slowed by the Arctic Burn. Hobbled by Jin Q. And it looks like this game coming to a close. That's how tower protection. Back to a region. Yeah. Psychic drums. Oh, they've got a catch. To Wyvern is doomed to vote him. Of course, that's not going to save him. Jim Q will get the two man out toss in there. And we, Yi, just jumps back towards Ramsey's, focusing DM's doom at the same time. And Ramsey's BKB TP will complete. Successfully back to Fountain. That's well, he wants happening. to close it out. After being doomed, uses buyback. He's like, I don't give a crap anymore. I just want to end this game. Put them out there, misery. Take the buildings. Because he's been Doom's target uh, every single time. Now to the mid lane they go. It's Rain Barracks. Fade Beyond will pop that charge of drums. Back to the bottom lane they go. Doom does have a buyback, but no Doom available. One last chance for outsiders to show us what they've got. See if they can happen. Yeah, kill on nothing to say here. Could maybe turn the tables. It just fly back, but his Aghanim Scepter allows that free pathing path to fly over Ramses. He's gonna, he's gonna go to the shop and buy something. He, what's he doing? Nothing to say, he's just hiding in the trees. They toss back the Kunka. He's feared and caught. Oh, Blades disposed back at him. Laguna Blades there. They're focusing the wire, but nothing to say. About to die, they grieve up Yamich. Outsiders, maybe with a chance now, but Kunka dead for a minute, and the rest of their heroes crumbling. Blue Druids come out here, and they'll Savage Roar, attack the claws, kill off the leader, and GG is called. Radiant Warrior. It's just a uh, ball to do that. And you also Dyer's need to be called Fate Beyond. Under attack. Oh, this is Yamage in the trees. The TP. He's going to get finished off. Can't Radiant's even contact. retreat back to base. Diving on the tier twos. LGT again. Eight minutes in. All of a sudden, they are straight into the thick of things. But GBK is there to react. Responding to kill the Void Spirit and get something back for outsiders. Managing to kill this Timber Saw and also. Not allowing him to pressure Ursa is pretty big. Ame seems like he's gonna be going for more of a late game, and there's two options. Either you go for more greedy build, get the Agatim Scepter to have AOE silence, or you get Yule Scepter for yourself to be able to protect you and potentially break the coil with it. Mid lane, outsiders putting some pressure on the tower. Hydalon's there from Yamich. Enigma pretty low on the levels though. I know you like this one, our observer was pointing it out. Ramsey's going for Hand of Midas. Oh, yes. I'll find GQ in the jungle, though. So it is all there. They're out of stack. Midas. Some, some kind of snap bar ulti is available. Yeah, another coil on his chain again. DM will come in, and the kiss is launched. A lot expended to bring down Yi. Too much expended. Black hole in the back though, where did he come from? Night Stalker dragged in and nothing to say killed off. LGD went back in for round two and they get punished heavily. Dyer's middle tower. The bottom, you can see them pinging it. Ramsey's pings the Ursa. He's, he's TP bot. He's down there. Let's play elsewhere. Go in onto the Void Spirit. Make plays and action happen. Force LGD to try and they react. Or just up. lose a hero just like that. Beautiful spell casting from outsiders. Not overlapping anything. Cookie into stun. Jin Q trying to farm up his blink dagger. Getting very close. Cannot allow. Yeah. 
in there. They've lost the puck. And Chen, the other one's a four on damage. Pounded by nothing to say. LTD with a turnaround play and the Omni Slash bounces in towards the arranged Ursa. Doing very little damage as GQ. The flick echo. Perfectly placed. And Ramsey's stuck oh, there Fisher. between Fisher and the That's high ground. Team one. DM going for Kai Assange on Timbersaw. Instead of giving Heavens Halbert, I think this is a big mistake. Maybe a kill here. You say he's got Astral Step once the coil is. Can you get out of this? GPK has the orb. Good remains. This arm against Ursa, this chance, even against Night Stalker, if you get that off, can turn things around. Strange. I can't. Does he think they need more damage with Kaya Sanj instead to be able to blow people up? I'm in the double damage now, chasing people. Does have Blink Dagger. Not ready anytime soon, but see if he... Well, that's his half HP. Yeah, crippling fear. Gets the spin off, but my goodness, he dies quickly to Arme. DM now, the one on the run. He can try and chain away from this. Gets back to high ground, but look at who's waiting for him. That's Chen here. Bian and Arme still trying to give chase. Hide Lonza creeps. Back to his two. You don't want to go inside a bit 25. This is the coil. The Good remnant blocking the entrance. See them coming now. The fifth Bian crippling fear to reserve them out. GPK blinks in aggressively. Kisses and coil landing, but GPK is already dead. And will finish off the Roche. Roche had gone. He just picked up. The all set the second too late. And the turnaround back in towards Yamich. He blinks to high ground. Gets a bit of distance with the Fisher and Remnant blink in from Arme. Clears through the Enigma. Outside is starting to crumble, but it's LG. Catch him first. Oh, nothing to say under a sentry. I thought he was safe. Inviz and hidden. Fisher maybe buys him enough time here with the resident pulse spammed down and it's dissimulate. Astral step. He gets a gap. Oh, he's he away from way. there. LGD now with Arme facing GPK. Faith Bjarne hunting as well while Ramsey spins and TPs home. DM looking to catch. Nothing to say still, but he's got the heels from the mech. He's back to half health, and DM's the one trick. Fish it up, chains away, the Black Hawk Miami cancelled by the Ether Remnant. Oh, nothing to say, just outplaying outside is every step of the way. Okay, gonna try and all back. Jumped upon nice by Arme, and Night Stalker with a fake grenade, keeps the vision, moves over the tier two. Oh, this spot GPK, good face shift, might just get away, then eat the remnant. Yeah, stopped by the BKB, but the Banshee comes in, and they catch him out, but he jumps away, one HP, gallant through the black hole, and the Omni Slash, looking for Arme, but the enraged finally arrives. Ramsey's in the back lines, Yamich dead, Juggernaut struggling to stick on a target, while DM being zoned away by Jin Q. Give chase onto this timber saw now. This one not done. The Yule Scepter up. Astral step towards him. Ether and drags him back in. And they'll finish off this timber one by one. They whack away at him. No buybacks here for outsiders. And look how careful. See absolutely everything. Jump on the puck. GPK blown up. Immediate snap decision from LGD. As soon as someone stepped in front of that tier three tower, they're dead. They play center ward on other side. Oh, look, they picked it now. They Finally, <laughs> they, they know something is up. It's about to expire, though. The Yules, double cyclone, ascending DM and Arme skywards. BKB forced out of the Timbersaur as well, and there's not even a real DM. He's just up here cutting waves. Chain TP, but a cancel. And Fisher comes out in time. Maybe now, DM, thinking I should have BKB first. Still. Very difficult against Earth. As that's just been the state of the game for a very long time. Oh, GPK. And this Brox. Oh, that's thankful for him. That's that safety net. He's blinked back in towards the Night Stalker. Yule's in onto the Ursa now. DM looking to try and get away in the black hole. It's just on Arme. Omni Slash is spending on him as well for the hand of God. And then cuts the heel. Arme turns the fight. The Blink Echo. They will catch him out as well. Ramsey's dead and GG calls. They tried and tried and tried to delay this game out. But LGD unstoppable in this series.